It's time to talk about you and your where you are at as a leader, as an individual, and as a person with power. I am Pegeen, and I'm here with Power Women Worldwide to talk to you about what a very, very important piece. Sometimes we get derailed. Sometimes we get pushed off. Sometimes we're human. Our emotions get caught up in what somebody says or does or how they do what they do. And it really knocks us off our game for a little while. Well, it can knock you off your game for a long time. I want to have it knock you off your game for just a little while. And the way to do that is to ensure that you're doing four quick techniques to help you stop, assess, address, and move on. You know, there are things that happen in this world, things that you might read in the paper, things that might happen in your office, things that happen with your team, things that happen even with your family. And these things can really mess up your flow, your joy, your day of happiness. And I want to teach you some techniques that I personally use to be able to shift my mindset, to shift how I'm seeing the world, to shift how I'm getting things done. And that's what I want to talk to you today about. So let's start with stop, assess, address, move on. Let's say you have an incident and you're in that moment and just all this turmoil is happening to you. Remember, stop, assess, address, and move on. So let's start with stop. Stop means just stop, walk away, just walk away away don't continue to have the engage don't continue to be engaged don't continue to want to fight for what you know is right don't continue to beat yourself up because of something that occurred or something that triggered a reaction in you stop walk away that is a key piece for you to begin to break bring down the experience Put it lower, bring it to a place of calm. Walk away. Just walk away. The second thing is as you walk away and you go to your a space that's quiet for you, to just sit there and really take a step back and assess. What I mean by that, sometimes we spend too much time churning in our head over and over and over and over and over the incident over and over and over the moment over and over about what they did wrong what they did how they did this to you and the truth of the matter is that's not assessment that's perpetuating a story and so it's important for you to step back and assess and that means always starting to look at three fingers pointing out to yourself so why are you getting upset why did this press some buttons for you? What is it about the situation that's kind of making you really feel really, really uncomfortable, angry, frustrated? What is it? And then start listing some of the things. So maybe it's, you know, when somebody speaks to you that, that way, it triggers a response because it reminds you of what somebody else used to do or reminds you that, um, you want to be on the defensive and fight. You want to fight. Sometimes it's that you, you it brings up uh, thoughts of, you know, not being good enough or any of that. So you just want to assess what's going on within you. What's, what's happening within there. What's, what's, what's occurring within yourself from your emotional state and then really figure out the why for yourself, because you can't move ahead until you kind of calm down and see what is the thoughts going on within your own self. Then you want to address it. You want to address it from your, for yourself first, from a place of positivity, a place of growth, a place of learning. So what did I learn from the incident? Well, I learned that maybe I jumped to the, to the gun. I, what I learned from the incident is I don't want to be around people that talk to me that way. I learned that I, um, if I'm not getting the information that I need from that particular person, I could find somebody else. If you just start looking at ways, you make lists. Well, how could I have addressed the situation? How could I find the answers that I want to have? How could I find a different way to go over, under, through, or around it? What is it that I can do? So you want to address that 
for yourself within what you can, are capable of doing with what you can do. Not that you're going to change the other person, not that you can change the, the person or the situation or anything of like that, but this is all about you addressing for yourself what you are doing about it, what you are thinking about it, what you are believing about it. It's to address those issues within yourself first so that you can really begin to do the final thing, which is to move on. See, once you move on after doing the stop, assess, address, and move on, you can speak to people from with a sense of clarity. You can actually make sure that the conflict goes away. You can figure out how to share with somebody what was going on for you. You can share what you really want and how you want to be supported. You can share all that, but you cannot do it when you're in the first part of mm, anger and upset and mm, I don't want to do this. It has to go through the process. Stop, assess, address, and move on. This is all for you personally before you ever talk to anybody else, before you ever go back into this situation, before you ever have another meeting with that person. You have to be responsible for the power that you have, the power to create the world of positivity that you want to have, the power to be able to lead and be influential and inspiring. And the only way to do that is for you in these situations to stop, assess, address, and then move on. My name is Pegeen. I hope this serves you and helps you. I really do hope that it does. I'm laughing because I wanted you to get this. Power, power, be spicy, be